now the latest on August 28th around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. Tropical Storm Dorian remains the main feature tonight along with Tropical Storm Podal which has formed just west of the Philippines now entering the South China Sea. Day 240 of the year, 49 storms have now formed around the world. On day 89 of Atlantic hurricane season, Dorian in the Eastern Caribbean is maintaining intensity and Tropical Depression 6L is still lingering. On day 106 of hurricane season in the Eastern Pacific, nothing of note just yet, although there is a small area of interest in the Central Pacific, and Tropical Storm Podal is now moving into the South China Sea as I said and will progress towards the west. No systems are active in the Southern Hemisphere at this time, again, it's all quiet here. So Dorian is our main story tonight, 50 mile an hour winds, 1005 millibars, there it is right now to the southwest of Montserrat, currently around 78 miles away, 15.9 north, 63 degrees west, this storm is expected to track towards the US Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico where it could strike as a strong tropical storm, still hurricane watches out there right now and it could become a hurricane before it strikes these areas but it's unlikely at this stage. Then it will move off towards the Bahamas, looks like it will track slightly north and we expect it will become a hurricane on approach to Florida this weekend and possibly make landfall at that intensity. Still speculative, but that's our best indication so far. Tropical Depression 6L is located here out in the Atlantic Ocean, 35 mile an hour winds, 1006 millibars, 310 miles from Cape Hatteras, North Carolina, 31.9 north, 71.8 degrees west. Expected to move towards the north or north-northeast, become a tropical storm in the next 24 hours, probably a brief tropical storm now, according to the National Hurricane Center at least, and then it will turn post-tropical near Atlantic Canada by the time we get to this weekend. As an extratropical cyclone, it could deliver strong rain, strong winds and heavy rain as it strikes Atlantic Canada. Tropical Storm Podal is located here, 40 mile an hour winds, a pressure estimate of 995 millibars. 16.7 north, 118.6 degrees east puts it 111 miles west of San Fernando in the Philippines and it will continue to draw away from the island of Luzon. Most of the convection is placed to the west already so that's pretty good for the Philippines and then it will move on towards Hainan which it could strike as a tropical storm and then into Vietnam. We're mostly concerned about the rainfall production from this storm. It could deliver up to 450 millimeters of rain to parts of Indochina. This is what Dorian looks like on the satellite imagery along with that shear graphic so it's continuing to push away that high wind shear to its northwest but it is going to get a bit more of a fight from that wind shear in the next 24 to 48 hours uh, so Dorian may struggle a bit more as we watch it in this next two day period before conditions get better for it again so very interesting to see what happens with Dorian if it does better than expected in the next 48 hours got to strike Puerto Rico as well that will do some damage to the storm as well as possibly on land um, if it still maintains some decent intensity by then we could be looking at a significant hurricane threat for the time being though let's just concentrate on what's going on in the next 48 hours when it will be striking those lesser and greater Antilles Looking into the Gulf of Mexico, quiet here, tropical uh, thunderstorms rather blowing up in Florida. You can see the little system that spun up in the central Pacific there on the screen now as we look towards the Pacific. Um, a small system just over the boundary into the central Pacific region. Um, that has a near 0% chance of formation according to the central Pacific Hurricane Center. Another little disturbance down there below Hawaii, long range models suggesting it will become a significant typhoon next week. In the western Pacific you can see another little area there of convection not too far from um, Yap to the northwest. One or two models were indicating that that could well develop into a system two behind Podal which is now moving off quite clearly the convection. Uh, most of it is moving over the South China Sea now. Last little bits of it just about to clear Luzon. The Australia and South Pacific region looking very quiet here. You can see maybe one or two frontal systems sweeping through Queensland into northern New South Wales. Uh, but elsewhere, things looking very quiet. The Indian Ocean also looking quiet. A bit of monsoonal activity across the ocean and some thunderstorms blowing up across the border into Pakistan. But really not too much going on here. 
Sea surface temperatures for that system in the central Pacific fairly warm, around 26 or maybe 27 degrees Celsius for that potential typhoon late on down the line in the central Pacific at the minute, around 28 or 29 degrees at the moment. In the eastern Pacific proper, next to the coast of Mexico, 30 degrees plus, same too in the Gulf of Mexico and in the western Caribbean and over the Bahamas, 30 degrees Celsius all along that region. Where Dorian is right now, it's 28 or 29 degrees Celsius, that will remain the case until it passes Puerto Rico. The Indian Ocean looks like this, 28 to 30 degrees Celsius generally, and in the Gulf of Tonkin it's pretty much the hotspot of the Western Pacific, so watching Podal, if it enters that region, which it most likely will, it could get a spurt on with that intensity. So here is the latest floater imagery of Tropical Storm Podal. Um, was formerly 13W, Philippine name is Jenny, and you can see again that most of the convection is now away from the Philippines and that will, the, the last of it will clear away probably in the next three hours. Um, and now looking at Tropical Storm Dorian on the geocolor imagery from GO16, you can see how it has now entered the Eastern Caribbean, has been the case for some time. It had a, a center relocation earlier today uh, and that has moved the system further north and that could have big implications on its future track later on down the line. We're no longer looking at exclusively a Dominican Republic landfall, it's looking like it's going to be more for Puerto Rico. We're still yet to see Erin, that is the next name on the Atlantic naming list, followed by Fernand. In the Eastern Pacific, it is Juliet next up. In the Central Pacific, we'll be looking for Akoni. In the Western Pacific, the next name on the list now is Ling Ling. In the North Indian Ocean, on list 8, it's Hika next up on the list there. You can find Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest, our YouTube page, search Force 13 all in text and subscribe if you haven't so far. And you can find us on Facebook and Twitter. You can contact us on any of these mediums, search Force 13 all in text to get in touch on there too. That's all for now. We'll have another Tropical Weather Bulletin, same time, same place, tomorrow. Jet become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force 13's colors wherever you go. You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.